You see this? I went to the early fan premiere, you know, because I love the first movie so much. Yeah, it was so good. I loved it. I thought they were going to build an actual story from this. They gave me this garbage. Everybody left that theater so underwhelmed. I'm telling you, the depressing atmosphere of the theater, like the the size, the like the the sadness and the depression that everybody in that theater felt. It was such flat air when the movie ended. Where do I even start? Okay, they were right. This is a musical. The whole movie is not a musical. It's sprinkled throughout the movie. It's sprinkled everywhere, every time you don't want it. It starts to slow the movie down. At first, it's cool. Like, you know, okay, I like that. Like the songs in it, for the most part, were good. It's like, okay, I, I can, I'm feeling this. And then it just keeps going. It, it pauses the movie. When you're pausing the movie and like interrupting the flow of the story, it's just too ridiculous. I was excited because I thought they were going to innovate on this idea. I had high hopes for this movie. Everybody was saying, man, this is going to be really bad because it's going to be a musical. I was seeing, I couldn't wait to see how they would maybe innovate on musicals, mixing this type of movie with that genre and it falls flat on its face. First of all, who is this movie for? This isn't for Joker fans. This isn't for DC fans. The five DC fans that are actually left. And this movie also accomplishes nothing. I, I, want, to, I want to get into spoilers so bad. I'm trying to hold off. Okay, I'll tell you the good stuff. Hakeem Phoenix does a good job. As usual, he's a great actor. He's doing his best with the material he has. The cinematography, as usual, is great. The same thing in the last movie. The atmosphere they build is fantastic. Outside of that, this movie lacks direction. It is all over the place. It doesn't know what it wants to be, nor does Joker know what he wants to be. This could be about just any crazy man. You could have made a story about a crazy man and they didn't have to tie this into Joker. This isn't Joker. We thought they were gonna build this into something when we saw the first movie, but they went absolutely nowhere with it. Actually, as the movie continues, as you continue to watch the movie, it gets worse and worse. The direction gets worse and worse. The musicals get more and more annoying. Every time you think they're, build, they're building up to something, oh, we about to actually get Joker. He's about to make this transformation. Now is the time where he's gonna actually become the Joker. Nope. You think they're setting something up for the third movie? Nope. This movie is literally for crazy people. Only crazy people can understand what this movie is trying to accomplish. Harley Quinn is in here for no reason. All of the side characters are in, in here for the no reason. Joker, the main character himself, gives up on his own character arc. It doesn't get any worse than that. Me and my girlfriend were in the theater. You know, I was trying so hard to give it a chance. She was watching it. And then I noticed she put out her phone. Okay. She put out her phone the first time. And then every time a musical came on, she put out her phone because it was so unnecessary. This movie did not need to be this long. If you take out all the musicals, the score actually goes up maybe a couple points. The last movie blended the craziness and the storytelling very well. It had a direction and know what it wanted to do. This movie is just all over the place. This was just too much craziness. They leaned, they hit the craziness times 10. Like we're not actual psychopaths. We want to see a real story. And what is Harley Quinn here for? She's supposed to be the Joker's ride or die. And she literally does the opposite by the end of the movie. Her being in the movie was for no reason. And you know what? Skip it. I'm going to just get into spoilers. Joker dies at the end of the movie and it's so pointless. First, he does a, a full 180. He gives up after getting um, abused by his officer that he was friends with. Okay. Then he comes back to the courtroom and then he's just like, okay, I'm done. Like, and then they try to break him out. And it's like, okay, cool. We can go somewhere with this. Maybe now he can turn into the real Joker, the Joker he's supposed to be, you know, and actually see his story as the Joker versus Batman with crime and all that. Nope. He gives up Let's himself be turned back in. He runs away. Uh, they capture him again. And then the, the movie ends with this guy that really admired him. And uh, he felt like he'd been betrayed because he, he said he's not Joker. And 
this crazy guy that's supposed to, I guess, actually be the Joker now. He he watched the Joker, and now he's a Joker. He carves a smile on his face after he stabs Joaquin Phoenix. Don't go see this movie, man. The the scores on it, it hasn't even came out. They're already at a 64% and dropping. Don't waste your time. The fans had, haven't even seen it yet. The fans' reviews, I assume, will be even worse. Just oh, don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Just if you want, if you want to see how bad this movie is, just for the fun of it, maybe it's no point, bro. You're just gonna get annoyed throughout the movie. It's not even like fun bad. It's just torture bad bad. This movie gets uh, uh, because it got worse and worse. I'm gonna give this a two out of ten because uh, I'm so disappointed. I had came in there with such high hopes. Go see Transformers One. That movie was actually good. That deserves your money. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.